Tammy here and I am back to uh, with a short tutorial video on um, making these little mini flags um, banner flags and this is my first time making these I am not sure that I'm a big fan of them um, only because they're so tiny and they're hard to deal with, but, um, anyway, so I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on how to make these, um, something a little different for me, uh, but these are going out on a swap, so, anyway, um, these are what they look like, that's the, one of them, and I did two going one way, and then I'm going to do two going the other way. So the flag's going to the left, and then I've got some with the flags going to the right. This one has a little bit bigger flag on the top, so it looked kind of weird. So I put the, the word and, and the heart on the top. So anyway, the paper collection that I'm using is uh, Amy Tangerine. And I absolutely love this paper collection. I think it has a name. <coughs> it just says Sunshine and Good Times. So um, it's by American Crafts. And I just, I don't know, I love the gold foil. And especially this one. With, I don't know if you can see that, but you'll see the paper because I'm going to use it. But there's a lot of gold foil in here. And I used the butterfly and this one. I used this one, this one, and this one. So anyway. Um, but I did get this at Tuesday morning. It was only $2.99, which is a really good deal. So, all right, let's get started. Um, these are all little pieces. And what I did was I cut these because I'm using, most people use the round, um, round sticks, the smaller ones like this, and then they cut them down. Or you can use, um, the popsicle sticks that you get in the baking section and excuse me it's late um and you can cut those down as well but I have these little square ones and I thought ooh, those would be kind of cool to um, figure out how to do these flags so that's what I'm gonna do so there's something a little bit different because the paper doesn't just wrap around it like it does on the round ones um, so I'll show you what I'm gonna do though so each of these strips are three inches long and I just cut them in different um, width sizes from like a half an inch I think up to three quarters of an inch so um, and you can do as small as a quarter of an inch I think this one is yeah this one and this one are a half an inch and then I think this one is three quarters yeah that one's three quarters of an inch. So anyway, and then I cut out this, or I got this little word joy from uh, Tim Holtz Ideology Big Chat Word Package, which um, I just, I, I love these. These are so cool. And they've got the ones in black too. Um, but I don't know if it'll be too big for this particular one. The word was fine for this one because the flag was so big but I didn't do another inch width um, flag, so I don't know if this word will even fit, so we may or may not use that. I have a little piece of lace, and I'm probably only gonna use like three of those, but I cut four just to make sure that it's gonna go the length um, of it, and then I have these little flowers that I have for my stash, and I'm gonna use those, and a little miniature um, pom-pom, and these are, all of these little circle thingies, are, were um, brads, and the brads actually folded over and then came up, so what I did was, um, and this one I could probably trim down a little bit more on the side, I just cut, went like that, and I cut the brads off to make them a little bit flatter so that I could use them on here and not have to stick stick a brad through it. So anyway, that's what these are. I think this one, it's a, got a bow on it, but you can kind of tell that. Um, all right, so, and then also I've got these uh, little sheets, a sheet of acrylic dots, which I'll be using. 
I like the different sizes that it has. So um, what I did was to make this fit on here, I took and um, first I cut that down to three inches, then I fold it in half, and then I just take a little bit on the end like that, and I fold it over so that it's kind of square, and that's going to help it fit. You can see like right there. It's going to help it fit around there. So that's what I did on all of the pieces for the flags. I didn't use a scoreboard or anything because you really don't, these are so tiny that um, you don't really need to do that. But I just kind of fold that like that. Again, so it has the little kind of square like that. Just the gold. I love gold. I like it better than silver. So I'm going to fold that in half. And you're also going to need your glue gun. Um, I've got my art glitter glue. And I've also got some E6000 because I try to use glue, uh, hot glue on these. However, they are metal. And I don't know if you know this, or if you have this experience, but every time I try to use hot glue with metal, it, the metal part falls off. So um, I just used hot, uh, E6000 for, the, for that particular piece, and then everything else was um, the hot glue. So what I'm going to do with the pom-pom is I'm going to put just a dab of glue. Oops, that was way too much. My glue gun needs to go away. I need a new one. Um, and then I'm going to put that like that. And then what I did was I kind of squished it down around the little square stick and kind of held it in place. And I'm not too worried about the glue um, because I can oh, I can take that off. I'm not worried about it. Anyway. So just, I'm just going to hold that in place until it cools off. And then, well, this isn't working right, is it? I'm going to trim off this little piece here. Shouldn't be using my good scissors. I only use those scissors to cut um, material. Let's take that off like that. Okay. That's better. And then scrape off this glue here. Nope. Nope. That's not glue. This is glue. Alright, so then we have our little pom-pom on the top, and the pom-poms I just got at, um, if you go into the craft section at Walmart, they have this big container, and I don't know what I did with, uh, it's a big long sleeve of pom-poms, and, oh, there it is. So you get like all these different sizes of pom-poms, which look like that, and I just took out, you know, some of these smaller ones to use. I had some, like, um, bigger ones, these, these sizes, and I was like, that is way too big for these little flags. So, anyway. Okay, so these, this particular one needs to go, <clears throat> let's see, I've got two facing to the right, so this one is going to need to face to the left, and that matters because um, that's going to determine how you put this on, so when you put this on and you, um, let's see, do I want to, yeah, so when you put this on and you squeeze this down like this, you want that part right there, you want that on the back. So what you're going to need to do is you need to, um, let's see, flip this over like this. 
and then that's going to be your front part, <clears throat> and that's going to be your back. So what I do is I just turn my little stick like that, get rid of all these little stringies, and then I put the art glitter glue where I made that fold, and then I just do that, and then if this is upside down, I know it's going to be pointing in the right direction. Okay, so I'm going to move that up a little bit, try to straighten that out, and then I'm just going to pinch that together and hold it there for a minute. Just like that. <clears throat> And then when you flip it over, you've got your flag, like that. Okay, so we're going to do that to the next one. And then I'm going to put that one right up against the other one, just like that. And then I push that down. I'm gonna our glitter glue dries really fast, so you got to make sure that it's all lined up. And then just kind of crease that right there next to the wood, so that the glue on that part will stay. And no, they don't look like flags yet because I haven't cut them down. But anyway, this is all manual labor here. Alright, and then I'm going to do the gold one. Make sure you pinch it before that art glitter glue dries, since it does dry so fast. The gold one's a little bit more harder um, to work with, harder to work with, not more harder. That's not even perfect English, is it? All right, so anyway, all right, so that's going to be our third flag, okay? So see how it's all on this side it's straight, and then on this side it hugs and you can't tell. Okay, then I'm going to take my little bee scissors and I'm just going to make my little flags. You're going to cut from the corner. I'll show you how I did that again. Sorry, I didn't explain it very well, did I? It's getting late for me. I need to go to bed. Um, anyway, there's one flag. So all you're going to do is I cut the excess off because that makes it harder to make the actual flag. And you can do these, you know, whatever size you want. That's what's nice about these is you can make them whatever size. Okay, so what I do is I cut down the center just a little bit like that. Then you're going to go from one corner that one's really hard to see. Okay, one corner up to that little slit, the top of that slit, and turn it over and cut to the other corner, or the middle of that slit, the top of that slit. So that's going to be your next one. And then this one, I'm going to cut it probably a little bit smaller than that bottom one. do the same thing. Cut a little slit, cut from the corner to the top of the little slit, flip it over, cut from the corner to the top of the little slit. Now I do have a little tool that will do that for me, but once you put it on the stick it's like very difficult to use that tool. Alright, so that is that. And then I'm not going to use hot glue gun, the hot glue for the um, lace. What I'm going to do is just use the art glitter glue because it works best. 
I couldn't get the, the lace to actually stick. The glue kept drying before I could get it down. So, I'm just going to do that. Yep, and then take my scissors. I'm going to cut this down right to the third loop. Alright, and then, uh, let's see, I'm going to use my E6000. Just put a little dollop right there. Ugh, I hate this stuff. It oozes out too much. It stinks. Ugh. Yep, that's okay. There and then I should put my glass mat down. Well, that's what jeans are for. All right, and then I'm just going to I think I'm gonna have to clip it. That's what I did with the other ones. Okay, so our, you know, um. E6000 takes a little bit to dry. So all I do is I just take a big clip and I just clip it where I want it, right there. Um, and then that'll dry. So then I'm going to take my flower and hopefully not burn myself because it's super tiny. And I'm going to put the glue on just like that. And then I think I'll put this one right here. gonna do it. So we're just gonna do the art glare glue and then gonna oh, I my tweezers. Slide that under there while that dries. I'm going to put my little, I think, on this one all, just like that, and that, oh, it's bubbling, that, and I think on there, heart on this one. Oops. Clip it. Okay, put it down. Use your tweezers. Alright, put that one right there. worry about the sticky stuff because I don't actually like that. That one there. And then I'll just put a little pink one right there. Okay. Okay. So that is how easy it is. Um, to make these little 
banner flags, I guess is what they're called. I'm not really sure. I think they're called flag embellishments. Um, so anyway, so that's what I did. I think this should be good. I will let that dry overnight because E6000 takes a little bit longer to dry. And then I'll probably have to dig. Off. I don't like any kind of strings showing whether it's hot glue or E6000. So anyway, that's the little flag embellishments that I made. So that's that one. And again, okay, I've got um, that one, and that one, and then this one, okay? So, I uh, might redo that one, I'm not really sure, but I mean, doesn't hurt to have one that goes left. You can put that in a little, um, like loaded bag, loaded envelope, uh, flat mail. So it's not kind of flat, but um, anyway. So that's the flag embellishments that I made, and um, I'll be sending these off in a swap. So thanks for stopping by and watching my video. If you like this button, hit the like um, the like button, and if you want to hit that subscribe button down below that would be awesome and if you hit the bell icon to the right that will just notify you um, when I do upload a new video so anyway thanks again I hope you all have a blessed evening and a blessed weekend and um, I will talk to you soon